A special thanks to Hyundai SM Roger for allowing me to film this car and information is provided in the description box below. Hello there, this is going to be a full in-depth tour of you of the 2022 Hyundai Quetta 1.5 in the style chain. Check the exterior engine and interior. The exterior pillar is glowing silver metallic. Here's the key fob as you can see. This car has one more engine start, keyless engine and auto folding power side door mirrors. The car's ignition is jammed so I can't show you the features. This has black leather seats with perforations in the centre. There's white piping on the sides. This has a four-spoke design, level up multifunctional steering wheel with aluminium on the spokes. Engine start-stop button as part of keyless entry. For transmission, the Quet is available with 6B manual on IVT. This is an IVT, short for Intelligent Variable Transmission. This has sport mode with manual shifting. When placed the car in reverse, there is a reversing camera. Just the settings. This has rear parking sensors. You can activate the parking camera button via here. Drive mode and traction mode buttons. This has an electronic parking brake. To engage it, pull it up. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake and put it down. Along with the auto hold feature. Now let's take a look at the exterior. The side lights are already on. The drive side window is automatically in both directions up and down. To open the fuel plug. For the wheels, the style has the same set of wheels from the prime trim, 17 inch dual tone diamond cut alloy rims in two 1560R17 tyres. The style has the same mechanicals as with all quarters. For headlights, the headlights are a split design. The bottom part is the main part, the LED headlights. The top part is the LED daytime ring lights, as you can see. You notice the hazard lights are frozen. There's something wrong with the car ignition. Let's carry on with the tour. The Hyundai Quetta is a subcompact SUV introduced in 2014 and has seen two generations. The Quetta is sold in regions of South America and Asia. The second generation, featured in this video, was unveiled in April 2019 in China and started sales towards the end of 2019 in China. The Quetta SU2 is sold as the iX25 in China and Cantus in Dominican Republic. One fact about the Quetta, depending on where it is sold, the exterior styling of the front and rear and also the interior differs between countries to suit buyers' preferences. The Quetta SU2 is based on the Hyundai Kia K2 platform, underpins its long wheelbase brother the Alcazar, the Stargazer, along with two other Kia products, Seltos and Cowans. The Hyundai Quetta was launched in Indonesia last February. Trim levels are Active, Trend, Style and Prime, with pricing starts at 
301 million Indonesian rupees at Hyundai SM Raja. The Quetta in Indonesia is the replacement for the petrol powered Kona. Not to forget, the Kona is still available in Indonesia solely as pure electric. Hyundai Quetta Tela Meliha co successor and untuk merit di Indonesia dan pelanggan memilih kereta dibandingkan Honda HRV dengan 11,650 unit terjual di 7 bulan pertama di tahun 2022 dan tipe style merekili 19% dari semua kereta terjual. For the design, the Hyundai Quetta looks quirky and cute. The rear looks interesting, it has Quetta lettering on a boot door and unique rear lights. The side has silver inserts on C-pillar on single tone versions, whereas the dual tone version has black side mirrors, C-pillar and a roof. The front has split headlights and a sporty grille bolt from the tuxen made for the Indo market. Quarter style and took Mareka yang more feature Lankap. Yang tidak bisa mampu atau gak butuh feature tentu seperti kaca atap, puddle shifter dan Lankap feature keselamatan. Apakah saya akan memilih Quarter style? Jawab ni ya tidak. Karena style bukan rasa style tanpa the water warner dan body kit tersedia. Saya memilih Prime atau trend yang saya tambahan feature opsi yang saya butuh. Here you can build my own Quetta available for the trend only paired with an IVT auto on the Vice app or Hyundai in their website. In preview, there are three background settings. This is a 360 degree view of Kisteria. Here you can turn on the lights, turn on wipers, move the wheels, fold in or outside mirrors, open the windows and open car doors. This is a 360 degree view of interior, not only from the front seats, also from the rear seats too. You can add up to 10 option packages, you can custom the grille plus exterior colours and the interior theme. You can choose guarantee packages and accessories. In fact there are over 9000 custom choices of the Quetta and car configurators are rare in Indonesia. For engines, all four Quetta trim levels have the same engine, I'll explain now. Under the bonnet is a Hyundai Smart Stream Gamma 2 1.5 liter inline 4 16 valve dual overhead cam naturally aspirated petrol engine with multi point fuel injection. This engine produces 114 horsepower at 6300 rpm and 144 Nm of torque at 4500 rpm. The Quetta has a 40 liter fuel tank and this car is front wheel drive. The front does have hard plastic materials at the top and bottom. There is leather materials right here. For electric window control, the driver's side window is automatic in both directions, up and down, window lock, central locking, mirror control, this has power portable side door mirrors. Down below is a medium sized door pocket for the front doors. To the right of the steering wheel column, the button for the engine start stop. The button to activate the traction control, which is quite huge. The button, fuse box, automatic transmission, dual pedals, bonnet release, front turf floor mats, fuel flat release. The driver's seat has four manual adjustments: recline, seat height, and a bar for sliding. The steering wheel has manual tail and telescope adjustment. Adjust it using the lever right here. On the steering wheel, on the right side is the, I think this is the adaptive cruise. These three buttons control the multi information display. On the left spoke is the volume, mute, select between the seat track, voice control, mode, Bluetooth accept core, star button. 
The right dot is the light indicator and high beam control. This has automatic headlights. The left dot is the wiper controls. This has a 12.3 inch fully digital instrument cluster controlled via these three buttons. I already showed you through it in the previous video. Digital speedometer. Got all the driving aid for safety. set the theme here, unselect this, got classic, classic B, classic C, as well as the cuboid effect. And all this, you've got a lot of here. The style trim comes as standard with single zone automatic climate control, temperature on the right with the automatic button, fan speed on the left with the AC button, with circulation, front and rear defrost, person zone setting, off button, has a light switch. For infotainment, this has an 8 inch touchscreen, this has various media connectivity options, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and Sound is provided. I already showed you for the touchscreen in my previous video. On the touchscreen head unit, on the left side is the seat track button, setup, tuning, knob. On the right side is the radio media shortcut, as do it, custom it, minus it, volume power knob. I already showed you through the infotainment system in my previous Creta, you can check it out. I'm gonna just test the sound quality. The sound quality sounds brilliant for the Bose sound system. This is the USB audio menu. Song information playing. Play pause, backwards or forwards the song. Shuffle, and repeat. Look at for the USB menu. Zumba Media. FMAM, this has Apple Car Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Got all this. The touchscreen is easy to operate, you can customize this to your liking. It does not have sat nav, but you can use the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can also record a voice through here, your voice memos. Kibla which is a cool feature, valet mode, this has onboard Wi-Fi, blue link, this has the quiet mode, I think that's it. Down below is a storage area with two USB inputs, one for media and the other for charging, 12 volt power outlet. This is, I think this is the wireless charge, this is the wireless charging port. Ventilated seats, one stage for each side for the driver and front passenger. Illuminated cup holders next to the electronic parking brake, a slot for this key fob. Front centre armrest made out of leather. It's not adjustable, we were stitching. Down below is a huge storage area. Manual dimming rear view mirror. SOS button and blue link button. Front reading lamps. Grip handle only for the front passenger side. Driver side sun visor with a vanity mirror and a card holder. The ventilator seats works effectively where I can feel the ventilation from my back. Now let's check a look at the rear seats.
The rear doors have exactly the same materials as the front doors. Small size door pocket for the rear. Isofix chassis anchor points on the rear seats. The rear seats do fold down if you need extra space, like that. Now let's check out rear seat space. For rear seat space, I'm a short person. I've got a huge amount of leg room and a generous amount of head room. I believe tall people, six footers, would be fine back in terms of rear seat space. Front seat back pockets, which are made out of leather on both sides, rear air vents, USB input for charging, little exposed storage area, flat transmission floor, rear centre armrest with two cup holders, rear interior light, grip handles on each side, there's a hook on the right side. is of a huge size. Left side there is a 12 volt power outlet, a boot lamp on the left. I think there are tie down points. Down below the boot floor is a spare tyre, space saver pipe. The seat has the same adjustments as the driver's side except the seat height. I think this has six airbags as standard, ambient lighting, glove box which is of a good size, 